Good morning, everybody. Well, good afternoon. <laughs> um, I slept a little later today, and so my morning routine got quite slowed down. So I spent yesterday with my um, son, Adam, over at our daughter, Brittany's house to celebrate her birthday, which is coming up next week, and Thanksgiving, because we're not going to be able to get together on either of those days. So, good excuse, right? It's a great excuse to spend time with family um, this time of year. That's what we all think about anyway. You know, the holidays and family, it's so important. Um, so, um, not that I haven't been late before, but this time I have a really good excuse. <laughs> so, okay. So today, um, for Saturday Sip, I had something totally different planned, totally. But um, my timing for my volume event yesterday, I wasn't really sure. I was trying to get everything in I needed to tell them. And um, I ended up having time, which was great, to craft with them. And I used my project that I was going to do with you guys here today. So um, I decided that I would grab a project from my volume um uh, November ordering special and um, just in case you did not see it it is for a $75 order you're going to get a special gift in the mail from me and the um, PDF of how to make the cards that I showed and the projects that I showed during volume um, and I don't have them handy but it's these five projects so there is the zipper card which you guys have seen me make um, this wonderful card, which I call a WV card, which I thought I had that one handy, but oh, I do. Here it is. Here it is. So you'll get all the directions on how to make this fun card. So isn't that fun? It's very cool. I really like this one. And, um, and oh, I do have them handy. My little Kleenex box. So you'll get all the directions for that. Um, you'll get everything for this. You're going to get the patterns for these two. Well, really for all of them. Um, so you'll have all of these. So there's five total. Um, and you guys have seen the zipper card. So here's the zipper card. This is what zippers. And uh, so that's what you'll get with a $75, order, $75 order this month, plus a special something in the mail from me as well. So now that I got that out of the way, let's talk about the project. Oh, guess not. I forgot I wanted to talk about this too. This is the time of year when it's gift giving and you don't necessarily know what to give. And with the way things are everywhere, not just, you know, with every company everywhere and in our grocery stores, things are on back order. So if you want to give your crafting friend a gift of stamping or crafting, you know, I do make gift certificates and I can do that for you in any denomination. Generally, they're from $25 and up. But if your budget is tight, talk to me. Hey, I'm willing. I mean, I can fill in the blank for it really any amount. I've just always said 25 or more. So, okay. And this always comes with a nice gift card that I send to you so that you can give to them. So it's a nice handmade card too. So, okay. So that's out of the way. Sales out of the way, sort of. All right, so this is the card I thought I would show you. This is part of the projects that you will get the um, in the PDF. You will get the pattern on how to make this. So I'm going to show you now. Um, basically, what it is, is you will take a piece of cardstock and you will cut it out into this shape. You're going to score in a couple of places. These are all in the PDF. You'll trim this so that when it closes, it's not in the way and then you'll cut these half circle ish parts out of where you've scored directions are all in that pattern so you're going to start with this and then you will need pieces of designer series paper okay any kind is going to do i just happen to have this one ready this of course is from our awesome eden's garden collection which I have been kind of talking about all month. And as much as I love it, I'm ready to move on to something else. And you guys are like, yes, please. So, <laughs> all right. So let me show you a little trick with this because this goes here and this goes here, but obviously there would be an issue. 
not with this one so much, but with this one, most definitely, because this would look weird. You can't, it, it's just not going to work. So the way I did this was I kind of set this where I wanted it to go. You can use a temporary adhesive or you can just put like a dot of adhesive somewhere, just a tiny little bit to kind of hold it where you want it. And you want to make sure this flap is out of your way. So get it to where you want it to set on the card. Okay, and then you're going to open it up so that you can see the back side of the designer series paper. Grab a pencil and just mark it off. Okay, easy peasy, right? And you guys can figure it out that all you have to do is, oh, see now I got pencil lines on here. I got a little carried away, so I'm going to have to erase those. So then you're just going to trim. I like to trim on this side of the line so that, you know, you don't want the line in, in your card. Not that they can see it. This is the back side, but still. This gives you a slight edge away from the opening. That way you don't have to worry about it getting caught, hopefully. This is me, and we know that perfection is overrated. So, if you have a circle punch that you think will do this faster for you and much neater, then use that. Because heaven knows circle punches have been around forever. And then you're just going to use your regular adhesive now everywhere and adhere this down. This is small enough that you don't have to worry too much about the circle, but if it makes you feel better to put a little dab there and a little dab there, obviously that can work. Now, I'm gonna leave this, oh, I wanna erase that pencil mark first. So, if you have a white eraser on your pencil, that works really good. If not, you know, you can buy those really good erasers that take off most things. And I'm gonna check, yep, there's definitely some on this side as well. Okay. All right, so then the only trick then is to remember what side you wanna put it on, because it's not that side. So kind of put your card back into place so you can see what you're doing. And then put this down on, whoop, carefully, because that is, this is not the super strong part of the glue or our adhesive, but it is still pretty strong. So hopefully I'm getting this correctly. There we go. So got some eraser stuff everywhere now. So there's that one. And then this one, this one you can decide you can, um, now see, I have it where enough of it is going over that I need to think about that. So again, I am going to put just a dab of adhesive on the back just to hold this piece in place where I think I want it to go. And you can see it's just a smidgen and it wouldn't really make a huge difference. So you could leave that, but I, I want to get rid of it. This one's going to be a little harder to see because it's dark on the back. So again, with the penciling, let's see if I can see this on camera. I can kind of see it. Um, it's a little bit harder. Again, um, if you have a circle punch that you think will work a little bit better, you can use that. And you're just gonna take out that little smidgy. And I did not cut that very well, you know, but you know what I f how I feel about that kind of stuff. If you get a card for me, you know, all it says when you aren't perfect is that it's a handmade card. And I don't know about you, but I've made multiples of the same card before. And none of them are ever perfect. Even when I use my stamp apparatus to do that, which is usually what I do when I'm making multiple cards, somewhere in the decorating of it, it ends up slightly different. Again with the pencil marks. So... I must have really penciled hard on these because, holy Hannah, that's a lot of pencil mark. Okay, penciling. Okay, now I'm going to put this back in place. And 
and voila. So see, you can almost not even, like especially with this print, it almost makes it not seeable that you've actually done that. But this is where you'll write your sentiment here. Make sure you sign the back of your card. Okay, now we're going to talk about putting this stuff in. So what I did was, this actually came from, I'm trying to figure out where. It was a scallop circle punch that I, or die that I had that fit this piece. And I wanted it, I, I, it's just what I wanted. And so I made it that way. And um, so whatever you find, even if it's just another circle, that would be fine. I just happen to have this and it's done in the awesome gold foil. And then for this one, this is designer series paper. But I'm hoping you guys can see how it's sort of a faded um, look. So I'm going to take it so that the fading is, it, I don't even know if you can see this on camera, but the fading is a little bit darker here and it gets lighter here. It's really noticeable on my original card. It's a little more noticeable, probably because it was higher up in the lighter colors when I, when I stamped that one. And then I'm going to take this wonderful, dear friend, how are you? I love this saying. And I am going to stamp that right in the center. Well, not really. I stamped it, but it's not really right in the center. But y'all know me. Perfection is so overrated. And then I forgot that I wanted, I need a scrap piece for this other part. So I'm going to take this wonderful piece, and this is another leaf. These are all, all the things I'm using are obviously from the wonderful Eden's Garden. And I am just going to add some leaves down here and a couple of them up here. There you go. Just to give it a little bit of a pretty. And that's that for this one. Now you can use this to stamp the sentiment on this piece if you want, but I'm going to show you what I did with that. So for here, this is the best part about a circle when you're doing a circle is if I had stamped that crooked, I could just keep turning the circle. Makes me very happy because <laughs> you know that I tend to get things off center often. I'll move that out of the way for now. And where's my card? There it is. And I'm going to take this and center that on this little half circle. Or, well, yeah, it is kind of a half a circle. So there you go. The front of my card is done. It's very pretty. And then for this side, this piece is going to go on right there. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere that down. And this is a lot smaller. So you could actually, if you were doing circles, you could certainly do um, a little bit larger. You just want to make sure that the contraption will do its thing. So now for this one, what I did was I took Versamark and stamped this Sending Hugs. And then I embossed it in gold. And I didn't want to emboss on video because it's really loud. Um, but I'm going to have to figure out how to quiet that down or something because I don't know about you, but I love to watch something emboss with wet embossing. But anyway, this is how it comes out. Sending hugs in the pretty gold. And I'm just going to set that on there. Now this is a, um, a foil paper that I'm putting it on. So I'm just using regular, for some reason I can't, it's the lighting or something, I'm struggling to see my, my oh look right there, I can see it did not emboss. So hold on one second, you are going to hear a little bit of embossing, because that part, somehow I missed getting it embossed. Come on, you can do it. There we go. That's better. You definitely always want to check your embossing because if I hadn't fixed that, that would have like brushed off after a while. So we're going to center that right there. Now you can use Stampin' Dimensionals or something. I actually had the mountain considered doing that, but um, this makes it nice and flat. So when you fold it and then your friends will open it up and they can see and you can write something wonderful on the inside. This actually... This could work as a sympathy card, a birthday card, uh, 
a hey how are you card just get because none it's all very it's pretty generic i mean you could switch this to happy birthday or happy anniversary or whatever but um i just think this is a really really fun flip card and i hope that you guys like it again this is um, part of the directions that you will get with your order of 75 or more and a special gift for everybody who orders this month um 25 or more is going to get my little special gift so um and hold on to this piece because look at that i mean that's just a fun piece to add to a card somewhere i don't think i would put it on this one but you certainly could add it as a half circle anywhere so you could put it on the inside if you wanted to somewhere but half circles are cool i like them anyway that's today's saturday sip i hope you enjoyed it i hope you will follow me here on facebook.com forward slash memory inkers remember if you share this video to comment below that you shared and i will put your name in the drawing for december early december uh, my first video and i will give away a fun gift i'm thinking of there's some new bling that's coming out and um, right now that's on my radar to give away and it's so pretty so okay all right so thanks again i hope you're having a wonderful day and have a great one bye